So we'll batter on through another few of these. Um, we'll look at 2016 here. So 2016 part C. So the first one there, name the oil refining process. Think about octane. So C8, H18, and 224 trimethyl pentane. Now you'll know that is your reference hydrocarbon um, for octane numbers, given a value of 100. That's known as isomerization, that process. So process changing into its isomer. Name the oil refining process that converts octane into ethyl benzene. According to that, now you see there that hydrogen's been given off. Once you see that hydrogen's been given off and forms a ring compound, you know it's known as dehydrocyclization. And explain why they're desirable. Improve the octane number, less likely to auto ignite, improves the efficiency of the fuel. Now, calculate the heat of reaction. So, again, it's a heat of a reaction, it's not a heat of combustion technically, because there's no oxygen in it, but it's the same formula. Now, we'll deal with the products. Products over this right hand side. First, calculate the heat of the reaction for each of the following, given the heat sublimation of octane. And ethyl benzene are that and that. Now we have no value again for our H2 like O2, so we've only got two values here. So our heat of a reaction is equal to our products, which is our ethyl benzene. Remember that just simply looks the ethyl group C2H5 coming off it. A benzene ring with an ethyl group coming off it. So that has a value of minus 12.5. And there's one of one by minus 12.5 nearly seems more strange when there's so little to do and our reactance here is octane which is minus 250.1 tidy that up minus 12.5 plus 250.1 type it into the calculator right 2019 question maybe saw a small mistake didn't have the power generated that time in the morning so the heat of the reaction here is 237.6 following your your units kilojoules per mole so a nice little short one um kick us off now next one 2015 2015 we're looking at 60 now this is actually a good one because we haven't been given the equation of it so we must work with that first of all so ethanol can be used as a fuel calculate the heat of formation of ethanol gives given that the heat of combustions of ethanol is that and the heat of formation of those are that so they haven't given us the equation we must work it out so once it's a heat of combustion we know what's carried out in excess oxygen there's my ethanol Two carbons, meth, eth, with a hydroxodric, your polar hydroxodric coming off it. So C, H, 5, O, H. Then you've got uh, carried out in excess oxygen, O2. And your products of these is always carbon dioxide and water. Now you need to balance this in order to be able to do two times or three times our heat of formation. So work with our carbons first. There's two carbons on the left. Only one on the right, so stick a big two in front of that. Uh, hydrogens maybe now, five, six hydrogens on the left. So two there, you need a big three. Three times two is six. And in your oxygens, you've got two times two is four. Four and three is seven oxygens. You have one there, so we need six. Three times two is six. Now we'll look at our equation here. So our heat of combustion, sum, heat of formation of products. Minus your sum, heat of formation of your reactants. Now they give us the heat of combustion in this one. And we have to work out the heat of formation of ethanol. So calculate the heat of formation of ethanol. Yep. Yeah. So we're looking out for one of these. Given the heat of combustion of ethanol. So the heat of combustion of ethanol in this one is minus 1370.7. Now we'll deal with our products. Remember our products over on the right hand side and this is where we needed the two and the three so two times our carbon dioxide heat of formation minus 393.5 sum of our water three by minus 285.8 dirty square brackets now into reactants 
will not be given a value of this. You'll work out your value of this. So you can call it C2H5OH, or if it's what you're looking for, you might just call it X. We want to work out our value of X, which represents a height information of F, and I'll tidy that up a wee bit. Now you get x on your own, keep it positive, so maybe move that over there, bring this over here. And <coughs> sorry, and you get minus 273.7 uh, kilojoules per mole. So that represents your heat information of your ethanol. So, another one for us. Yeah, what was I thinking? Uh, 2014, 6D in 2014. So, let's actually get that question. 2014. So, they've asked you to define heat of combustion, heat change in kilojoules when one mole of a substance is completely burned in excess oxygen. Again, write the balanced equation for the complete combustion of butane. So butane is methethylbut in C4. Draw it out of C4H10. Complete combustion. And it's heated combustion, so it's carried out in excess oxygen, giving us carbon dioxide and water. Now balance it up. Four carbons on the left. Looks like a big four in the right. Ten hydrogens on the left. Big five. Five times two is ten. And now you always deal with the one you've got more of. So we've got more oxygens here. Eight. 8 and 5 is 13. We've got two of them. So if we need 13, just go 13 over 2. So think about it 6.5 times 2, which is 13. Now, write down your equation. Heat of combustion. Heat of formation of your products. Minus your heat of formation of your reactants. What are we asked in this one? Uh, calculate the heat of combustion of butane. So we're working out this here. Given that the heat supermation of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, I have this question. Carbon dioxide, water, and butane are that, that, and that. So carbon dioxide, 4 by minus 393.5 plus water is minus 285.8. Minus my reactants, which is just one of them. And our beauty in there is minus 125.7. Tidy that up. And we don't need to divide by 2 or divide by 3 because it is one mole up here. Remember, kilojoules per mole. So we're okay. Um, I'll do 2012 because it's slightly different. And then if we have a wee bit of time, we can do 2013 as well. A bit of space there. So, as we go on to 2012. Have a wee look at this. So 2012, 6C. Define the heat of formation. And calculate the heat of formation of the hydrocarbon CDFH18 produced in process 3. So there that goes. Given that its heat of combustion value has been measured. So again, they give us heat of combustion. And then the heat of formation 
of carbon dioxide and water in it now. So like this question here, you're going to have to work out the equation first of all for the combustion of octane, C8H18. So C8H18, heat of combustion means carried out in excess oxygen. Always produce your carbon dioxide and your water. Match them up. Eight carbons on the left, big eight in here. 18 hydrogens, nine here, nine times two. Now work with the side, you have more of 16. And then 25 oxygens here. You got two, so 25 over two. That's like 12 and a half times two is 25. Now write down your equation. Heat of combustion, heat of formation of products, minus your heat of formation of your reactants. Heat of combustion will give us the value here. T minus 5502. Our products, we've got eight carbon dioxides. Eight by minus 394. So we rounded it slightly from the minus 393.5. And nine waters plus nine times minus 286. Minus our reactants will not know this. That's what we want to work out. We want to work out the heat of formation of octane. Got a wee x there. Tidy that up now a bit. Minus five five zero two. Minus three nine four. Three nine five two. And where I make mistakes most in these is just writing down a number wrong from the question. So do take your time. I might write instead of two five seven four two seven five four. Something daft. That spoils it then because it is something we should be getting full marks on. So every man gets wet in the rain. Now find your X. Plus F I O two minus two two four. Calajuris for more. So that is what done. 2016, 15, 14, 12. What can we may do 2013 as well. Otherwise, I'll just be silly. So 2013. If you look at that one, 2013, it is 6C. Ethane is produced from calcium carbide or calcium dicarbide in water according to the following. So CAC2 plus 2H2O, which is balanced, we're good. C2H2, or ethane, and calcium hydroxide. Calculate the heat change for the reaction. Again, it's not a heat of combustion, so it's not carried out in excess oxygen. Given that the heats are formation of calcium carbide, water, blah, 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 respectively. So we want to work out the heat change. So the same thing, heat of reaction or heat change, Heat of formation of products, which is those on the right hand side, minus heat of formation of our reactants. So our products we're looking for, there's our ethane, there's our calcium hydroxide. What does it say the value for ethane is? Ethane, calcium carbide, water, ethane is the third value, 227.4. Plus calcium hydroxide. Minus 985.2. 985.2, yeah. Minus our reactants. Our calcium dicarbide is the first one, 59.8. And water, minus 285.8. And there's two of them. So I'll go in over here, plus 2 by minus 285.8. Tidy that up. 227.4 minus 985.2 minus 59.8 minus 571.6. We tidy up these two here, 227.4. 
It's going to become a plus and minus 77 point two six. Just tidy that up, whatever way you like. And then, as you see, minus 126.4 kilojoules per mole. Right, that'll do us.